Welcome to our favorite neighborhood in Mumbai. Bandra! Or, as they say on the local train, and then we Bandra. Go, and we go to get local when we finish our ice cream. If you've seen our videos before, welcome back. If not, I'm Steph, that's Pete. And when we lived in Mumbai almost 10 years ago, this is the neighborhood we lived in. Right there. But eventually we moved home for a lot of reasons, one of which was to have this guy. And now we've been traveling as a family of three for the last 16 months. We've been in India for about a month and now we're in Mumbai. And of course we're staying in our old stomping ground. So this video is just gonna be us having a nice day in Bandra and taking you along. For those of you not familiar with Mumbai, Bandra is also referred to as the queen of the suburbs and it feels totally different to any other part of the city. It's along the sea, which is really nice. And it's also home to a lot of Bollywood stars. Just over there is Shah Rukh Khan's house, the Manat. People come from all over just to stand around and take a picture with the sign of his home. It's like Buckingham Palace. You can tell if he's in or not, if there's like a flag on top of the building. That's not true. Uh, we were lucky enough to meet King Khan on a trip to Croatia in uh, 2015, but never when we lived here. Bandra was under like Portuguese rule from the 1500s. So I don't know when I'm terrible at history, but there's a strong, strong Catholic presence here. And we're just at one of the most famous landmarks in Bandra called Mount Mary. Also more specifically, this was our immediate neighborhood just at the bottom of the stairs we're about to walk down. I'm not Christian, so I don't know if this is like a universal Christian or Catholic thing, but they sell like all sorts of candles up here that you burn for good luck. So like whatever your ailment is or you wish for, you buy something like that. So there's like legs if you have a hurt leg, I think babies for like fertility, and then all sorts of like house, office, career. Money, money. Whatever you wish. Do you remember when during the monsoon these steps used to turn into like a waterfall and we used to watch it from our apartment the rains would be coming down so hard and then the steps were just like full of water I mean it was incredible oh it doesn't change does it this is one of the most chilled out areas of Andrew in my opinion. These, there's something about these steps that just like makes everyone super mellow. Take me out, I see. Okay, very exciting. We have their little pharmacy just across from where we live. These legends called Niraj and Diraj owned it. And I used to stop by at least once a day to buy the small like mini Snickers. And they used to make so much fun of me. Let's see if they're still there. Diraj. How, how many uh, how many Snickers would I buy every day when I when we lived it? <laughs> oh, uh, four five. <laughs> <laughs> I said I said that I used to buy like one a day, but maybe it was like more like four yeah, or five. Yeah. Sometimes you hide friends. Or oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't always just for me. Okay, so that was Mount Mary and Mount Mary steps. And then just around the corner, there's some other steps called Steven Steps. I'm not really sure because I think since we left, they've been renovated. And our friend Adina told us that her friend Smith, who we know, opened what seems to be a very cool coffee shop. So that is the next thing on the agenda. By the way, we were laughing because Niraj and Diraj are brothers and they look very similar. And I could never remember who was who. So I always put it in my mind that Diraj D does wear glasses. You want another one? Niraj does wear glasses. Niraj, no glasses. That's, Works! I still can't remember. Sorry, Niraj and Niraj. It's closed. Oh, what about it? Do you know what? In all the years that we lived here, which was two years, we never came to these steps. Or I never but came to these steps. We don't know what steps. they look like. Because this is from oh, 2019. This has been redone. 
There's a really cool weekly event that happens in the steps that I've seen on Instagram. I don't know if we'll be able to include it in this video. It's Tuesday and that's on Friday, blah, 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 blah. But it's a very cool Friday night event that we plan on coming to. Yep, we literally picked the one day of the week that it is closed. Noted, steps, not open on Tuesdays. See you tomorrow. It's tomorrow. This place is gorgeous. It has a tree all the way through the building, which is incredible. And has an amazing view of these steps. Just listening to the birds, watching people walk up and down the steps. It's gorgeous. Come check it out if you haven't been. Okay, so we did come back to Steps, as you saw. I actually stayed there and worked all day. It was lovely. We also came back a few days later for this festival. Oh God, I like on your head. This is jewelry. Oh. Oh. You wanna put it? You wanna put it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's Saturday, January 7th right now. Um, but for now, let's get you back to real time of the vlog. After Steps, we went to Jogger's Park. Do you want to go to a playground? Yes! Another thing to love about Bandra is it is the first suburb that allows rickshaws. Not like the first, but like the rickshaws are allowed south of Bandra. We are going to a playground with Daddy. So it's very easy to zip to the playground. Well, it's even easier to zip because Uber, you can request rickshaws on Uber, which is great because that means you can pay online. You don't have to ton of, have a ton of cash. This is Joggers Park. It's really lovely. It's got a sea view, and then it's got the best playground we've seen. We haven't seen a lot of playgrounds, so. That's a big win. Also a lot of drumming and marching school children. Come on, Hazy, this way. We've come to the bagel shop for lunch. Uh, we used to come here. We wanted to sit outside. It was on the way home. And we fancied some sandwiches. Mine is um, called the Anton. It's got Bowen chorizo and Cream cheese, Hayes has a blueberry bagel, Pete's waiting on a fried egg on a bagel. Great stop. Fried egg and cheese. Okay, we went back for Hayes' nap time. Now it's the afternoon and we're headed out for the food I think I've been the most excited about since we returned to India. Busy. This is the best sev curry in the whole city. Sev curry is my favorite Mumbai street food chat kind of snack. We've been in India like over a month now. I've only had it two times and I'm just waiting. This guy. It's not this. Oh, it is the same guy. It's the same guy. Take one. Oh, what you say? Take one. 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 And then it's got like mashed potatoes and tamarind chutney and spicy chutney and onions and this one has peanuts and then sieb, which is these these like they're made from chickpea flour and you kind of eat it, scoop it up. I've heard it called like an Indian nacho, but that doesn't do it justice. It's just the best snack in the whole world. And I've never had them crispier or fresher than from this guy. If you're coming to Bandra, everybody will tell you to go to Elko, which is fine. It's a great, clean environment to try a lot of things. We almost went there for lunch and then we didn't. But a lot of people go there for Pani Puri. We're gonna continue on the chat theme and walk just across the street over here to uh, Punjab Sweet House, which has awesome. Pani Koi. And if you like 
hearing about Mumbai Street Foods, we are going to have a video and a few videos from now of a Mumbai Street Food tour that I actually co-created with my colleague Asim. So if you're not already, subscribe so you can stay tuned for that one. So he's going to get one of these puris. He's going to break like a little hole inside it. Then he's going to fill it with some yummy chickpeas. And then last, he'll dip it in some really nice, warm, spicy, tangy... Warm. Tam... like warm... sorry, like spicy tamarind water. And then you eat it and it explodes in your mouth. Yeah, it explodes. Uh, that's what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> Ready for the explosion? Mm. <laughs> I think Pete did a pretty good job explaining it. Next one. Ready? My favorite part is at the end you get like a little dry palate cleanser one. Do you want to try to share it? Mm. I want to keep that spicy, tangy warmness in my mouth. Okay, next pre-dinner stop. This place certainly didn't exist when we were here. This is Brew Dog uh, Tap Room, I guess. We don't brew it here. Anyway, it's like a full-fledged brewery looking place. There, there were not places like this in 2013 and 2015. Cheers. Freeze! We're at one of the best places in Bandura. It's called Kane Kas. And the reason why I say it like that is that because every time Steph and I used to order this place for delivery all the time. And whenever you rang them on the phone, the gentleman here would pick up the phone and he'd always be like, Can I go? Uh, anyway, inside joke. Um, we're having some incredible food. They have amazing, amazing food here. Um, but what's probably equal, if not better, than this restaurant is our amazing friend, Mayor, uh, who is with us. Hey people! <laughs> 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 Couldn't come to Bandra without this. There's Naturals ice cream. All right, so when we lived here, um, this place does delivery. So you would, you would cool them up. And no joke, like we actually timed it. It took 11 seconds for them to take our order over the phone. Thank you. What did you say? We need to say thank you to my office. He called this for us. Thank you, my All right, it's okay. We wish you so it would take 11 seconds, which was just incredible. And they would like hand deliver you like these cartons of ice cream and they were still cold. Somehow like almost 10 p.m. So that concludes this video, which certainly was not an exhaustive tour of Bandra. You may notice that we did not include any drinking or nightlife spots, which Bandra is known for. We have a three-year-old, but we do have some really fun videos coming up. One of which will be a night out. Another will be an early morning bike ride with Mayor, who you saw briefly in this video, and a street food tour in Mumbai. So, look how beautiful these Christmas lights are, by the way. Anyway, we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Leave a comment below. If you know Bander, if you've been to Bander, what are your favorite places? And we'll see you in the next one.